Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning on a bright and Sunday, Thursday morning, almost 8 a.m. Jared Glenn Palmer here with all of your helpful how-tos, tips, and tricks for DoorDash. And today we're going to learn how to make at least $100 every single day on DoorDash. And you may be asking yourself, is it possible? It surely is, and I'm here to help you. But first, I need you to do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button one time. I love you guys. And we got a good first order, first thing in the morning. Here we are, headed to CVS Pharmacy. We got five miles for $10. That's exactly the kind of thing we're trying to shoot for. $2 a mile, baby. Let's get it into CVS, just pulled into CVS, woo, 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 woo. And because CVS is a grocery store, we will have to go inside and shop for about four items, which means we will be using our red card. Back to our previous video when I taught you how to use the red card. We'll be right back. We just picked up our CVS order, which took about four minutes for four items, all Dr. Pepper items, really weird. <laughs> But while inside, we got this really nifty difty 7-Eleven order, and 7-Eleven is right across the street. Here we go. And this one is five, nope, six dollars for three miles. We love stacked orders around this channel. More money in the bank. Love y'all for real. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. We have picked up our CVS order and our 7-Eleven orders. We are headed to drop them off. The first drop off is only one mile point five away. So, not bad at all. We just dropped off our stacked order for 7-Eleven and CVS. In 800 feet, with, turn left onto South 150 East. With $14.50 and 25 minutes on the day, we are on the, the next clock. Left onto South 150 East. You may be wondering what you're hearing. I had just got an order while trying to do this video. <laughs> for Wendy's for six dollars for three miles. One thousand feet, turn right onto East Five Thousand South. Two dollars a mile, that's the kind of thing we're shooting for. Hundred dollars a day, let's get it baby! So, we are at Wendy's waiting for our order and I just wanna say, you know those restaurants that you just can't stand and you sometimes you forget that you don't wanna go there and then you end up there? That's pretty much every restaurant in this area. I'm not even in the area. I usually dash and I gotta get out of here. We gotta make some money. So, we are at Wendy's waiting for our order and I just wanna say, you know those restaurants that you just can't stand and you sometimes you forget that you don't wanna go there and then you end up there? That's pretty much every restaurant in this area. I'm not even in the area. I usually dash and I gotta get out of here. We gotta make some money picked up our Wendy's order, which, I'll be honest, I probably should have unaccepted it because that took like 12 minutes. I hate that. Uh, here's a tip that just, just pers personal thing, it might just be a vendetta that I have, but I've noticed the more affluent a neighborhood is, the slower their drive throughs and delivery orders are. So let's go drop this off and get to our normal area so we can make some good money. You know what I mean? Let's go. All right. So we've just dropped off the Wendy's order, which puts us at $21 in less than an hour, which is amazing. That's right where we want to be. $20 an hour is exactly what you want to shoot for. Uh, so uh, I wanted to take this opportunity since we're leaving this area and we're going to the area where I know we can make money. I wanted to kind of show you guys how to navigate the app a little bit. And I will do another video in the future on how to navigate the whole thing. That way there's no confusion. All right, you see, uh, you can and you do have the option to pause your dash. And so to do that, uh, let me get back in there so I can show you. You're going to have the three little drop down bars right there is the menu. You're going to tap that and then right at the top, it'll say pause orders. Now there's another way to do it, which I will show you when I get the opportunity to do so. Let's get out of here. Let's go make some real money. I hate this area. Let's go. Now we are getting back to my regular spot where I know we're going to make a lot of money. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to unpause my dash. What I wanted to tell you guys really quick about pausing your dash. Uh, pausing is basically considered your break. So that's where you go to the bathroom, get your food, your gas, whatever you need, or you use it to drive to a better location like we are doing. So also I wanted to tell you they are only 35 minutes and 
DoorDash used to allow you an unlimited amount of pauses or breaks during your dash, but for some reason, as of late, they have been limiting you. So, use them sparingly. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause us, and I'm gonna hit resume dash, unpause us, and we're gonna go ahead and make some money. Dash safely, guys, we got this. Let's do it. All right, family, we just got our next order. Okay, it's a stacked order. And I only took it because they're right next to each other, but it's Freddy's Steak Burgers and it's McDonald's and it's only two miles all together. And I was right here already. So that just means it's down the street. Uh, meaning I would never take a stacked order that totaled $7 for two locations, but this should not be bad. Freddy's Steak Burgers secured. So I had to go ahead and cancel that McDonald's order. It was going to take more time than it was worth. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and drop off this Freddy's Steak Burger for a whole $6, but it's only a mile away, so it's still kind of worth our time. Uh, normally, I wanted to tell you guys, uh, normally I would not take a stacked order like that, and I shouldn't have, but I try to stick to as close to $10 per order as I can while still sticking to $2 per mile. Let's go drop off some Freddy's Steak Burger. Dropping off that Freddy's steak, boyga, 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 boyga. Dropping off that Freddy's steak burger put us at just under thirty dollars in less than an hour and a half. We are now currently headed to Carnitas Michoacan uh, for two dollars per mile on a six dollar order. Let's get it. So, because this order's taken a little while, I wanted to show you guys what I meant by uh, keeping some notes on hand to send to your customer. So, all I ever have to type is, hello, and then I hit the, watch, I'll hit the predictive text a bunch of times, and then it just types out the message for me because I've typed it so many times. And it says, let's see here, I'll send it, boom, okay, so you can see it, okay. Hello, this is your door dasher. I'm... Oh, wait. Hello, this is your door dash room. Sorry, it's taking a while. The restaurant is packed, but I'm trying to hurry. Thank you. A little something like that. Just to keep your customers happy, real quick, wanted to show you. I'll be right back. Thai Curry Kitchen, $6, two miles. Let's get it. Papa Murphy's, take and bake, $10, six miles. Let's do it. I started this door dash series three, four days ago, and it was like, 45 degrees outside and today I swear it's got to be 112. That's Utah weather. Oh my gosh Can't wait for this summer slowdown. Yeah, Utah weather be bipolar Utah weather be like you don't know if you're gonna need a bathing suit a swimsuit a snowsuit or a friggin space suit Such extreme changes here all the time and it's constant. It's crazy. The other way to pause orders, rather than from your drop-down screen, I wanted to show you. Okay, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a pull-up menu. It's an arrow pointing upwards there. And so if you click it, boom, uh, you will see at the bottom of the screen, stop orders after this delivery. Now it doesn't completely stop them, it just pauses them and gives you the option to resume dashing or uh, stop dashing. So it's it's like another break for you is what I'm saying. That's the other way to access your pause. Your pause. Access your pause. And we are at $44 in just under two hours. Boom, 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 boom. So you can see how quick this is going. I'm going to keep going. We're going to keep making this money. We're going to have this $100 in no time. I'm here to show you. It is simple. It is easy. This is the best job you will ever have. So we just left Carl Jr. We are now headed to Cafe Zupa so we can finish picking up our stacked order, which puts us at about $57 as we enter the lunch rush. It was so hot I had to change my shirt. All that black was attracting the sun. Had to get my sunglasses too. Let's get it. $100 before the end of the day. Every stacked order, you always want to make sure you're texting your customer because stacked orders are definitely going to take some time and you definitely want to let them know. Both customers. <laughs> As we go drop off our stacked order, I wanted to take this time to tell you guys a little bit about the summer slowdown. And it is hot out here. I had to change out of my black t-shirt into something a little more appropriate to absorb the sun and get my cool guy shades. I got the sun burning through the window here on my leg 
I've got hot, hot, hot leg. Leg so hot, you fry an egg. <laughs> and uh, uh, anyway, so the summer slowdown. Okay, it's a real thing. Uh, you'll start noticing it about early, uh, mid to late May, early June, okay? When kids start to get out of school, uh, when people start to take their summer vacations, all of that jazz. And so what's going on is a lot of people who normally work uh, year round are now having, or going to school year round, are now having time off and needing more income for summer activities, for bills, all of that. So during the summer months and any other vacation seasonal month, to be honest with you, depending on where you are, you will notice a decrease of orders and uh, increase of, well, I should say a decrease of good orders and an increase of kind of smaller orders. But pick your battles because you can get around that like I'm gonna teach you guys how to make top dasher soon because uh, once you're in top dasher you kind of have more of a picking and choosing of good orders they kind of send them to the best dashers first obviously and then I'm gonna teach you guys more about the pizza program I, I've said a little bit about it but I'm gonna teach you guys more about it and then I'm gonna teach you guys about the large order program the catering bag program to where you can actually make the big big bucks and uh, we'll get into that slowly but surely that hundred dollars is so close we can taste it I wanted to take a moment and uh, explain a little bit about smaller goals so uh, that's why I explain about trying to get the two dollars per mile at least break everything that you can down into smaller goals try to get two dollars per mile try to uh, hit as close as you can to ten dollars per order uh, try to uh, use your time wisely that's the other thing don't be playing on your phone um, don't you know, I always turn off my, my texts everything I, I don't even pay attention to any of that I don't I, I no Wi-Fi no nothing no apps just the DoorDash and me I don't even have a radio in my car I mean I'm not that sounds like I, I did it on purpose but no I just don't have a radio <laughs> but break everything down into smaller goals that way it doesn't seem so tedious that way this hundred dollars that we're going for is gonna seem like nothing next you'll want to get two hundred dollars a day three hundred dollars a day four hundred dollars a day five hundred dollars a day it is possible and I do it and I'm gonna show you how <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes your DoorDash customer turns out to be one of your best friends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so funny. Funny my buddy, he better tip me. <laughs> you better pay me, sucker. <laughs> now, after dropping off our $6 McDonald's order and carrying on a conversation with our customer as if they were the wrong person for a while. Like, why didn't he stop me? Why did he say yes? So weird. Anyway, we are now at around $65 and it is barely 11.30. Uh, we're barely scratching three hours and we're already at over $20 an hour. That's right where we want to be to be making $100 or more every single day doing DoorDash. We love it. I love it. Do you love it? We love it. So, we just got a Pizza Hut order, which is $4.75. I usually wouldn't take it. It's kind of small, but it's only 0 0.9 miles, meaning it's very close, so it shouldn't take very long at all. Let's always take the picture of your pizza bag, send it, text your customer, let them know you're at the restaurant. Let's go. Three hours, and we're just under $70, and we just got one for Papa John's. Let me get it pulled up on here for you. Boom. Papa John's, $6.50, 2.5 miles, perfect, perfect, perfect. Destination will be on the left. Must be getting to be Pizza 30. Oh yeah, that's when we start making the good money, fast money, pizza money, baby. Just dropped off our Pizza Hut order. We're at $75 exactly in three hours and 15 minutes. We're still going strong. Let's do it. I just paused my dash so I could switch out cars because my other car's AC is just going out. Oh my gosh, I was dying in there. Uh, and we just got an order for pie and fry for $9. We're going to go ahead and pick that up and, and continue on strong. We just picked up our pizza order from pie and fry. Told you guys it was pizza 30. Uh, it's for $9. Once we drop this off, we're going to be at... $84 and it has only been three and a half hours. We're almost there. So freaking close. Let's get all these people be yet and say that they do and all this and all that. Please do not play that little boy in the club because we do not listen to rats. I know that they at they crib going crazy damn baby. 
Sometimes I laugh, sometimes I cry, but I guess you know now. She took a half and I took a whole thing slow. The other tip that I wish I would have told you guys in the beginning is this. The DoorDash app glitches a lot, a lot. So uh, before you start your dash every day, what you should do is uh, delete the app and reinstall it. Uninstall and reinstall the app because it is way buggy. And DoorDash has tried and tried and tried, but I think just because there's so many new dashers every single day, they really just can't keep up on fixing it, fixing it, fixing it. But it usually gets you through your shift pretty well. There's been a time or two when uh, it doesn't work, but uh, for the most part, as long as you delete it and reinstall it, keep your phone uh, clean, you know, don't, don't, uh, keep your, what am I trying to say? Keep some space on your phone at all times. <laughs> It's one of those things. Boom, 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 boom. Delivering that 7-Eleven put us at exactly $90. And right as I delivered it, boom, we reached our goal. We got $9. We're 75 cents off. But I got $9.25 for Lucky Slice Pizza. And it's only five miles. It's close to $2 a mile and $10 in order as you're going to get. And that's perfect. Let's. Uh, normally, I would avoid the area where Lucky Slice is located because it is always, always, always busy, especially at this time of year uh, with events downtown. Uh, like right now, for example, they have a really cool car show going on and Lucky Slice is blocked off, but I am, I, I know this city like the back of my hand, man. I know every secret entrance there is. So <laughs> they're not going to block us from getting pizza. They're not going to stop us from achieving our goals. It never stops. We keep going. And told y'all that a car show ain't stopping nothing. Pizza order secured. And while we were in there picking up our $10 pizza order, we got hit with a $5 7-Eleven order for an additional 0.4 miles. And the 7-Eleven is actually 0.4 miles away right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually the same people with the pizza order ordering some drinks or something. Let's go pick it up. Not only did we reach our $100 goal, but we surpassed it in less than four hours. Can you make $100 a day? It's so easy. We just finished dropping off our last order and we finished off at exactly $100 in just under four hours. So DoorDash, can you make $100 every single day? Not only can you make $100 every single day, it's one of the easiest jobs, easiest things you're gonna do. Um, it's the closest thing to passive income as you're ever gonna get. Uh, this is, this. I love this job. I can't express it enough to people. I wish I had uh, the employment uh, referral code because I would be referring you guys left and right. I want you to make as much money as possible and I wanna make as much money as possible. So I wanted to show you guys just as a recap real quick. Oh, snap, look at that. Oh snap! And this is the DoorDash Direct, uh, Dasher Direct card home screen. 113 bucks. So not only did we make our $100 and surpass our goal, uh, we also made $13.27 of hidden tips that we didn't even anticipate. Oh my God, I love this job. Okay, so come back tomorrow because I have a very special uh, treat for you guys that I've been working on every night, all night, been spending way too much time on it, but I think you're gonna love it. It made me laugh. It's gonna make you laugh. Come back tomorrow. I love you guys. Uh, this has been your favorite sexy, uh, let me do that again. This has been your favorite sexy, uh, ginger YouTube DoorDasher guy, Jared Glenn Palmer. Love you guys, man. I'll see you tomorrow.